Some way, somehow, another one of these mystery minis has snuck into my home. This mystery mini box wasn't the first thing I bought today, but I'm going to start off with it because it is the smallest thing that I bought today. No surprise there. And I don't have any at all from this series, so no chance of doubles. If you follow my channel by now, you know how I feel about getting doubles. And luckily, I have finally gotten doubles out of my home. You know, I gave them away to other people or... Oh, actually, I didn't trade any of them, I don't, I don't believe. I think I just gave them away. So no doubles in my house right now, and I feel better about that, and no chance of doubles from this box. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I can get here. Okay, we have Hulk, 2 out of 24, and if there is a mathematician out there with some wicked smarts, could you please tell me why it is that they say 2 out of 24 instead of 1 out of 12? I'm just a little curious about that. Okay, then we have Thor, 2 out of 24. Loki is extremely rare, at least this version of Loki with the trident there. 1 out of 144. Okay, then another Loki, 2 out of 24, Spider-Man. And you all can read, so I'm not going to read this all off for you, but we have Goblin, Deadpool. And there are two different Deadpools, one of them extremely rare there. Again, that 1 out of 144. I'm assuming this is the Dark Phoenix here, the way that it looks there. Never been a big fan of Jean Grey or the whole Phoenix character. Or the Phoenix Saga in general just really didn't interest me much. But seems like they're probably going to move in that direction with the films. And maybe they'll pull it off in an interesting way. As far as characters that I would like to get or I'd be hopeful for out of this series. Punisher is probably my number one choice. Then I'd probably say Deadpool. Not a big Spider-Man fan, but I actually do really like that pose there. I think that's a good pose for Spider-Man. But really, all, all these characters look pretty cool. My the, the one I probably want the least, and I hate to even point it out because more than likely that's what's going to be in here, is Scarlet Witch. So hopefully I didn't just curse myself. You know, we'll see what happens here. I got the plastic out of the way. Let's get into the box. Of course, we know there'll be a bag inside of here. I always trust these scissors are right here. And before I pull it out, let me see if I can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Whoops. Feels like the head almost moved out of place there. I have no idea right now. Based off the of feel, I really have no idea. I wish I was as talented as Tolly the Towel, man. That's another YouTuber who seems pretty good at guessing what's inside of these bags. But I just don't have that talent, so let's go ahead and see. And it is Thor. Okay, and wow, that spring is really bouncy there. But I'm actually pretty happy with this because I don't have Thor at all. I don't have any Thor pop figures or any Thor mystery minis. So this is actually pretty cool. It's not a double of anything that I have, of course, which there is no chance of that anyway. But that is cool to have at least one Thor figure now. And... I've seen the Thor pop figures from the previous movies. Really wasn't that crazy about any of them. So hopefully when they do one for the next movie, Ragnarok, it'll be a lot cooler. But let me go ahead and move on to what else I've picked up today. And Thor's just going to have to hang out with some DC characters right now. The first pop figure that I picked up today, I've seen it before, but I wanted to wait until I found a particular variant of it. So... I got Swamp Thing. And you see here that this is the glow in the dark version of Swamp Thing. I know there's also a flocked version, but I, I really don't have that much luck with running into flocked figures. And besides, I really think this one looks a little bit cooler anyway. I like the detail on it. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get him out of here, the package here and I'll show you a close up. Okay, so here he goes. I think he looks pretty good overall. 
it does have sort of a translucent effect. I'm not sure if you can tell that or not here on the camera, but definitely in person, he seems somewhat translucent, which I actually like. And I will have to check the glow out on him later on. I really don't know enough about this character. I, I'd like to know more about him. As a matter of fact, I really would like to read some of the comics. Just haven't gotten around to them yet, but I know I was interested in the character as a kid. I saw the movies, which were not so hot, but still interested in the character. So I may check out the comics eventually here. It almost threw me off when I took it out of the box. I've been looking at so many Marvel figures lately. I forget that not all of the pop figures are bobbleheads. Okay, so I actually like how st solid and sturdy this figure is. Okay, in the back side, it just continues here. You see like the root structure going on through them with some of the black outlining there. I would imagine that the flock figure probably is pretty cool, but like I said, I'm happy with this one. And I will check out the glow later on. Now the next one I got, as a matter of fact, I don't even think I can leave Swamp Thing up there because I'm going to need a little bit of space. The next one I got, I've seen them around but I have not seen this variant. So once again, this is a variant of a figure. And we have here the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And you can see that this is the one that has taken some fire damage there looking a little bit toasted and again I'm gonna get him out of his package so we can take a closer look at this figure there was a little piece of tape at the top of the box which I did of course have to break in order to get this guy out so maybe that brought down the value I don't care I don't sell pops I, I do trades if anything but more than likely this guy is gonna stay with me because I think he looks pretty cool and of course there's the nostalgia factor as well. I remember seeing Ghostbusters as a kid, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. The burning details on here look really cool. It, it looks really good in person. I'm not sure how well the camera picks this all up. I try to get as close as possible so you can really see the details there. It does look really cool. As far as the weight is concerned, he's not as hefty as some of the other 6 inch figures. I know I have the Giant Man figure which feels pretty weighty this one doesn't feel as weighty as that particular figure or really well I don't know actually it might be on par with Thanos but it's kinda hard to tell with Thanos since Thanos is a bobblehead I do see one little paint flaw there not a big deal though cuz again overall this is a pretty cool looking pop figure I'm pretty happy with that he may not be happy he's got his heavy frown going on but I'm happy to have him in the collection now I really like the artwork on the back of this box. It really looks cool. As far as the Ghostbusters themselves are concerned, in the Ecto-1, I'm not a big enough Ghostbusters fan to really be concerned about any of them. In fact, if I was going to get the Ghostbusters, I would probably actually try to get the Quantum Mechanics figures, which look absolutely amazing. It says on their website that those figures are sold out, but I know that I've seen them on Amazon at varying prices. So if I ever saw them at a reasonable price, I probably would at least get Dr. Peter Venkman because I think his is definitely the coolest. And do yourself a favor. If you have not seen the Ghostbusters figures by Quantum Mechanics, you should really look them up, check them out. They're pretty cool. So out of the pop figures, if I was to get another one, it would be Slimer, but not just the regular Slimer. I probably would actually prefer the glow in the dark Slimer and I really don't know how hard that one is to come by so you know either I get it or I don't. Maybe eventually if I, I can't get my hands on the glow in the dark one then I will get the regular Slimer because again that's that, that nostalgia factor. You know I really did like Slimer as a character as a kid. I remember him not only from the movie but also from the cartoon series which I think was kinda short-lived. I had one main figure in mind when I went out today and it really seemed like I was just running out of luck and I've been to so many and I'm probably giving away what the figure is but I've been to so many Walgreens lately that it is ridiculous and after I got I'm trying to remember what figure it was um, I can't remember for sure oh as a matter of fact it was the Batman the Little Gotham figure after I got that one the DC collectibles figure which I talked about in my previous video but anyway, after I got that one, I looked up just to see if there were any Walgreens in the area, and there happened to be one nearby, 
So I went there and boom, no luck. And then I was about to be on my way home leaving Myrtle Beach. And I just happened to pass another Walgreens, which was really close to the other one. It's kind of weird how some Walgreens are so close together. But I am so glad that I took a chance and I went to that other Walgreens because I found what I had been looking for. Not just all day, but probably all week. And it is the Unmasked Black Panther. I'm very glad that I did finally find this figure. My mind can rest a little bit easy. I won't lie, when I first heard that they were doing an Unmasked Black Panther figure, I pretty much assumed that they would just take the head from another figure and slap it onto the Black Panther body, but... I actually think it pretty much suits not only the actor, but also just the character in general. And and really, when I look at this figure, right away I think T'Challa. You know, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, the character's real name. So I think it's a really good representation of the character. I'm pretty happy with it. And that personally, I think whenever a pop figure has facial hair, it just adds a lot of personality to that pop figure. Okay, and... Even the way his little nose is there and everything, I think it just looks pretty cool. He does have a couple of glossy spots on the paint, but nothing really too bad there. You only really can notice it in the direct light, like here. You see a little spot there. Looks like he needs a little clear seal or something, but like I said, that's pretty much just close up in the light. Overall, pretty cool looking figure, and I am looking forward to that Walmart variant, or the Walmart exclusive. The Glitter Black Panther, which I hope actually looks pretty cool in person. Okay, so let me go ahead and sit him up here. So just to run back through it quickly. Okay, I got my Mystery Mini Thor figure. Got the Unmasked Black Panther from today. Got that nice toasted Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And then... My glow-in-the-dark swamp thing. So these are the new members of my collection. One more thing that I noticed today because I walked into a Walmart that I had never been in before. And I've really been going into Walmarts just out of curiosity because I've heard a lot of people saying that lately Walmart is kind of stepping his game up and having more of a pop variety. And I have seen that in a few Walmarts. Still not really that great in my area. But... These figures here, and by the way, in case you don't know, this is my prize for the month of April. This is a giveaway prize for the month of April. You see, I have my own back there. I'm not going to move these figures out the way, but I have my own personal one back there. So this is a prize for April. But I keep seeing these just stacked up in Walmarts in my area. And it really makes me wonder what exactly is Funko's distribution process because... I know a lot of people are still struggling to find these and yet they are just all around my area. And thank God I'm not a flipper because I would be so tempted right now. But I'm, I'm just not into that. I don't flip pops. I haven't sold any pops at all. I've only done trades. And I really don't even have the money to go out of my way to trade too many of these. So I'm, I mean I'm just not going to do that. So hopefully... If you are looking for these and they don't sell in my area, I really hope they take these figures and maybe redistribute them or, or do just something so that people that can need them can get their hands on them. Because it just bugs me as a collector to see so many of these in really good condition at that, just sitting in stores collecting dust. I'm not going to go on and on about that. I really just made this video to share my pickups for this week, or I should say the rest of my pickups for the week, because I've already done two previous videos about things that I got this week, which was really just the little Gotham Batman figure back there, and then I had that unmasked X-Force Deadpool figure, which I got from a trade earlier this week, and this is definitely sort of an odd mix here, but in my mind they all make sense because I do like all of these here. And I probably won't be doing any more pickups for the next at least two weeks or so until I can spend this hot cash. Because there's really not much that I'm looking for necessarily except for, like I said, if that Black Panther Walmart exclusive comes out, then I'll definitely be hunting for that. Other than that, though, I'm mainly waiting on Suicide Squad pops. 
which have a couple of months before they come out. Oh, and also the Marvel pops that are on the way, which include Doctor Strange, uh, Captain Marvel, Doctor Octopus. Finally, I think he should look great as a pop figure. And there are some others as well. So I'm kind of waiting on those and we'll see how those look when they arrive. I want to say that there are some more DC ones on the way as well. I believe Firestorm, Cyborg, and some others. So, you know, when those come out in the next couple of months, I'll definitely be looking for them. But you all let me know what are you looking for to the most. And then also, what have you picked up recently? Okay, I'd love for you to share with me again. What are you looking forward to the most and what have you picked up recently? I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. You all take care for now. Check out Saturday Night Vlog. Please don't forget about it. Okay, take care.